This lecture is going to be on how to tune your harp. Okay, so you've got your harp, you're ready to get started. Um, but one thing before you can really do too much um, with the harp, you got to make sure that it's in tune. Okay, um, so I'm going to go over from scratch some basic concepts that you need to know before you can start tuning your harp. Okay, so let me just show you this chart looks very simple um this is actually how the harp is laid out okay so think of oops think of each of these letters as a string we got c d e f g a b c now the reason i'm making this these lines shorter is because it sort of replicates the harp um, as a harp. As you get closer to yourself, the the top of the harp, the strings do get a little shorter. So it's a little exaggerated. So kind of, if you look at this as sort of like a harp, <laughs> um, you can see how as you get higher up the harp, the strings get smaller. So these letters look just like the strings in the harp. All right, so if this line right here, if this string is a C, the next string up closer to you is going to be a D. I'll go up here. The next one is closer to you is going to be an E. Next string is going to be an F. Next string is going to be a G. And now there are no H's in the harp, okay? After G, you just have to remember you go back to A. It starts over. Okay, so after G is A, after A is B, and after B is C. So if you sort of look at these letters like strings on the harp, then it's going to be really easy for you to tune your harp. All right, so let's go over this one more time. Erase this. Um, when you're tuning a harp, the first thing you want to do is locate the <clears throat> locate the red note red string I should say um, in, right in the middle of your harp all right and that's going to be C um, I'm going to go over this several times too um, all C's <clears throat> all C's are red okay so that's an easy way to remember when you're looking at the note C it's going to be red all F's are always going to be blue. And this is the same for any harp, okay? So that's going to really help you navigate your notes, all right? That's going to help you know which which note you're plucking, okay? You want to make sure that you know every red string is a C, all right? Because you're going to know what the other strings are, what the notes are by their relationship to C and also F because all the Fs are blue. Okay, so if you look at these letters like strings, if you want to find a G, you're going to see where it is in relationship to F. You're going to see it's one string above F because these are strings. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So if you see, you're trying to find a G, you're going to find it in relationship to F. Okay, so you're going to find a blue note and you're going to know that one string above the blue note is G. All right, so that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna tune your harp, okay? By knowing which letter should come up on your tuner, which looks like this, which we went over in the previous lecture. Um, you're gonna know which letter you want to come up on your tuner when you pluck a string, okay? So one thing I want to mention: if you have a pedal harp. Um, because there are pedal harps and there are lever harps, and there are harps without levers. Um, they're very limited in what you can do with them, but they do make some harps without levers. But for just getting started, um, if you have a harp without levers, don't worry, okay? You can still learn a lot. Um, <clears throat> so, if you have a pedal harp, um, you're going to notice that on your harp there are pedals, okay? There's one here, actually there's four here, A, B, C, D, and there's going to be four on the right side, all right? 
So these petals, the only thing to remember right now is that if you see the petals, you're going to see that there's a way to put them all the way up and there's a way to put them all the way down. All right, so the most, the only thing you need to know right now is that you want these petals to be in the middle position. Okay, you want them to be right in the middle. So before you do this, make sure your petals, all of them, are right in the middle. Okay, if you have a full lever harp, um, you always want to tune your key. It's really a good idea to tune the tune the harp with the levers down. Um, it's just better for the harp. So um, I'm going to do another lecture on um, tuning a full lever harp in the ideal key, but for now, um, just go ahead and follow this, okay? So put all of, we're going to just put your harp in the key of C for now, okay? Because when you're first getting started, it's a little overwhelming to have you tune in different keys. All right, so, <clears throat> so right now, if you have a full lever harp or if you have a harp with just a couple levers, put all those levers down and if your harp doesn't have levers, then don't worry about it. Um, just keep, you know, the harp as it is. And if you have a pedal harp, make sure that all the pedals are in the middle position before you do this, okay? So we're gonna go really slow. The first thing I wanna show you is this tuning key, which I went over in a previous lecture. Um, any harp, every time you get a harp, it's gonna come with this. Um, you got a harp and it didn't come with this, then maybe it was used, um, just, you know, buy one of these online. They're usually about maybe $15, $20. Um, make sure it matches your harp, okay? So you have to have one of these. It will, and this is to tighten the um, pegs at the top of your harp. This harp, this is how you tighten and loosen the strings, okay? So if you know anything about sort of like basic physics, I think. It's like, um, yeah, this that would be physics. When the harp, um, when strings are tighter, they vibrate at a higher frequency, so they're going to be higher. They're going to resonate higher, okay? So if you want your string to, you want to make the note higher, um, musical terminology is called sharp, if you want to make it sharper. But sharp, just remember, for when you're just starting out, the word sharp means high like higher. The word flat means lower. So when you're trying to make something more flat, it's lower. And the way you make a harp, a string, lower, a note lower, if you want your string, your note to be lower, you're going to loosen that string. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you put this into the peg above the harp, all right, above each string, and I'm going to show you that, um, one way you twist it is going to make the harp more flat. It's going to make the string more flat and one way is going to make it more sharp. All right, because one way is going to loosen the string and one way is going to tighten the string. Okay, so I'm going to show you that and you're going to need this, this tuner. Um, um, some of you, um, especially the more you do this exercise, the more you play, you might find that you can actually hear the notes um, and some people have like perfect pitch. So for those of you who have perfect pitch, you won't need this for Everyone else, especially if you're just starting out, this is kind of crucial. Um, I know I definitely need this. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and show you how to make the strings sharp and flat. Okay. So, if you look closely, you're going to see in my harp, it's on the left side. There's little pegs right above the strings. And you're gonna see that they roughly, like you can see that they're gonna fit inside here. So what you're gonna do is take this, and put it over that peg, all right? So you can see it's over this peg above the string. And you're gonna notice if you twist it one way, it's gonna tighten the harp. Or, so I'm gonna twist it this way. And if you see, getting higher because I'm tightening it. Now the other way is going to loosen it. It's going to make it more flat. All right. So this is what you're going to use to tune your harp. All right. So if you remember in our chart, first thing you're going to do 
is find the red string in the middle of the harp. Really any red string will work, but we're gonna start in the middle, it's so let's just start here. It's best to start in the middle of the harp. And that's gonna be middle C, which I will go into much, much more depth later. So this note is middle C. So when you pluck that note, you want that note to say C. Um, it's actually very simple. Um, so you're gonna look at your tuner, pluck the note, and make sure that it says C. Now you can see that mine says C, but it's very sharp, which means it's too high. So I'm gonna loosen it. And every time I pluck it, I'm gonna keep looking at this until it says C and it's right in the middle. Okay, now, that was easy because it was, when I plucked that string, it said C. But the thing to remember is that it might not say C. Like if you just got a, if you just got a harp, it's probably gonna be very out of tune. So say I pluck this note C and it says D, okay? The thing to remember is that if you remember the way the strings work, the chart, they go upwards alphabetically. If this note says D when I pluck it, what do you think it would be, too high or too low? It's gonna be too high because D is higher than C. So to get that to C, we're gonna know that we're gonna have to loosen the string because that makes it lower and we're gonna wanna loosen it until it says C, okay? So what you're gonna do is pluck that string. Let me, t let me make this note D so I can demonstrate it for you. Okay. All right, so I tuned it to D just so I can show you the process, so. Look at that, well, C sharp, let's see. Uh, a little tighter. All right, see how it says D? We want it to say C. So what I'm gonna do is loosen that note, loosen that string. See, huh, it went right to C. So you can see it, now it says C, but it also says it's a little too flat. If you see that flat sign right here, that's gonna mean it's too low. And the sharp, which just means high, is too high. So it's still too flat. So because it's too flat, you're want, gonna wanna tighten it until it's right in the middle. Nope, that's too sharp. And again, this is gonna take a little time. You're gonna have to sort of fine, fine tune it, you know, to make sure it's right in the middle, okay? Now, that was the C note, and that one's easy because C's are always red. So it's gonna be really easy for you to see, um, to know that these C's Every red note is going to be C. So every time you pluck a red note, you're going to want it to say C. That's too sharp. So, um, so then the note above C, the string above C, you're going to pluck it. And you're going to want that to say D. Now you can see mine says D, but it's also a little too sharp, which means it's too high. So if it's too high, we're gonna, we're gonna wanna make it flat, which means we're gonna loosen that string. So, the string on the peg, lo loosen it. Loosen it just a little bit, and then look at that tuner again. See how it went right to the middle? We're gonna keep going up the harp, doing each string like this, okay? So, one string above D is gonna be E. So I'm plucking that string. It says E, but it's a little slight. Well, it's moving around. It's a little flat, so which means just tighten it a tiny, tiny bit. Um, now, we know this is an E string because it's three, it's th 
two strings above C, so C, D, E. Okay, so we know it's E, but sometimes when you pluck this, it won't even say E. If, it, if your harp is really out of tune, it might say G, okay, which if you remember the chart, again, write this down and really study this, you know, really spend a lot of time just looking at the harp and knowing the notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? You want to spend a lot of time doing this so you really know what these notes are called, okay? So say you put the E string and it says G, that's going to mean that it's really high because G is two notes above E, so you're going to want to make it lower, and to make it lower, you're going to loosen the string, okay? So you're going to keep loosening the string until it says E, all right? And if this is a lot to remember at first, what you can do is just sort of look at it and experiment. Like if you don't, if it's really a lot to remember, like, oh, I don't know if it goes higher or lower, just look at this as you pluck the string. And if you, you want to know, it's, you have to know it's an E, but just kind of, Tighten the string a little, loosen it, and see what this says. And then keep doing that until this says E. Okay? Um, and this is just when you first start it out. If this is like a lot to remember, you know. You can always do that too. You can just make sure that when you pluck that string that you know is an E, that this says E. Okay? I'm just showing you how to know whether you need to loosen or tighten the string. Okay? So then, after E, this blue note here, and F's are always going to be blue. You're going to want to make sure that you, when you pluck this blue note, again, you just have to remember blue is always F, that it's going to say F. Let's see. So it says F, and it's pretty good. It's right in the middle. Um, most tuners are the same. <clears throat> most tuners, when they're in the middle, when it's in tune, it's going to be green. Okay, and then the flats and the sharps are going to be red. They're all a little different, but um, it's the same kind of idea. Like, they'll all, t all tell you if the note is too sharp or too flat, meaning too high or too low. So, regardless of what kind of tuner you have, that's always going to be the case. Now, again, this might seem a little repetitious, but again, I want to go over this in depth, okay? So, if this blue note is an F, what in string, what note do you think the next string up is gonna be? If this blue note is an F, when you pluck this string above the F towards you, what do you think it should read? The correct answer is G. Um, and this is fairly easy to get the hang of the more you do it because Everyone knows G comes after F, so that's pretty easy. So when you pluck this note above F, you want to make sure it reads G. So get your tuner, look at it. And by the way, you don't want it to say G sharp, you want or B, G flat. You want it to just say G, okay? And that note is usually going to be, and this one is on the top right, but you'll find every tuner will have a place where it read where it will tell you the note. So. You don't want it to say G sharp, G flat. If it says G flat, that actually means that it's too low. So that means you're going to tighten the string until it says G natural or just G. Okay, the word natural just means not sharp and not flat. So if it says G sharp or G flat, you want to tighten it or loosen it to bring it back to G. Okay, so that's really important to remember. Um, so the note above G, now this is where it gets tricky because everything else is fairly straightforward because we all know the alphabet and we all know if we start at C, the next note up is going to be D, the next string up is going to be E because that's how the harp's laid out. But after G, it's going to get a little tricky because you just sort of have to remember that there's no H in a harp. Like there's no H in music. The scale starts over. You know, there's only eight notes in a scale. So um, after that, it's going to start over with the same letter. So after G, you're going to have A. So that's this is going to be the tricky part. 
the note after G is A. So when you pluck the note after G, you want to make sure it says A. Now you can see it says A, but it's a little flat. So what are we going to do with the string? We're going to tighten it because that's going to make it higher because flat means low. So when you tighten it, it's going to make it higher. So let's tighten it a little bit. Okay. There you go. Still a little flat. Let's just tighten it a little bit more. There you go. Right in the middle. Okay. Now it gets easy again because the next string up from A is going to be B. Okay, so this note right here is going to be B. Now, you can see that's a little flat, and you might actually, after a while, you'll be able to hear, hear it too. But, so if it's too flat, you want to tighten it until it says B. Just a little more. All right, now, if this note, which is B, were to say C, what do you think you'd have to do with a string? You would have to loosen it because C is higher than B. So you would have to loosen it until it said B. Okay, I just want to let you know that because sometimes when you pluck a string it won't even be the right note if your harp is really out of out of key out of tune so it's important to know and again that just comes from memorizing the relationship you after a while you just know d is going to be higher than c because d is after c d is the next note after c so if for instance you pluck this red string which is c and it says d you're going to have to make sure that that note is more flat you're gonna loosen that string okay so after you've done this octave you've gone all the way from here to here and this note up here this red one even though it's higher it's a different string and it's higher than this middle it's still C it's just a higher C it's the same frequency it's just higher so when you pluck this red note up here or any red note on the harp for that matter, it's going to say C. Okay, so you're going to do the same process. Let me just move the harp a little. You're going to do the same process all the way up the harp. Okay, so this note here, look, should also say C. Now you can see it says C, but it's a little, little flat. So you're going to tighten it it's right in the middle and you're gonna go up to the next note which what comes after C D so the next note up from C is gonna be D you can see my harp saw a little flat so you're going to sharpen it a little bit make it D now you're gonna do this all the way up the harp okay Remember, reds are always C's and blues are always F's. So if you're ever not sure what note you're on, just find that C and find that F and count up. And it's so important to remember, you might even want to write this down. I would recommend writing this, this chart down that I wrote for you earlier on the board. I would rec recommend writing this down for yourself when you tune the harp. You know, just to, because sometimes it's difficult to remember that A comes after G. So I would write that down before you tune your harp to make sure that you remember that. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way up the harp and then you're gonna start down. You're gonna start, find the red note below middle C and you're gonna do the same process. The first note up from that is gonna be D. Make sure it says D all the way up. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, want clarification, feel free to email me. And I will see you next time.